Welcome. My name is Mary Ellen Giesbrecht and I serve as spiritual director and I have the joy of coaching women now all over the world as we lean in together here in God. And this includes Diane Sheffield, who's located in the state of Georgia and USA. And recently she and I got to minister and serve together in Belize this past summer, which was absolutely amazing. And we continue to have fun together. And she's an author and an artist. And she continues to get downloads <laughs> from our Zooms together in what is known as the Freedom Coaching Circle. And this past week, I get to uh, take the women through asking the Lord about the old thing and the new thing. And so we primarily looked at a few passages of scripture. One was Isaiah 43, 19. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? And Diane messaged saying she had something exciting to share. And so we hopped on a audio call and I just felt like when she was telling me the story that we should share this with you as well. So Diane, tell us what happened. <laughs> well, I um, have a very good friend of mine whose um, oldest granddaughter is getting married next weekend. And I had told her that I would paint a picture for her. And so I just quickly sent a couple of little abstract things to her to see if it was something that would, you know, and she picked out the colors she wanted. And uh, so I spent all day painting and she had a specific size. It's a 30 by 40, it's a big, big canvas. So I painted all day, one day, just painting, painting. And when I got through, I just didn't like it at all. So I went back upstairs in my paint room and I just took gesso. Gesso basically covers up everything. So I just took gesso and I just scrubbed it. Like, and I went downstairs and told my husband, I said, I had just scrubbed the picture that I've worked on for the last eight or 10 hours. <laughs> and it was very frustrating, you know, so then the next morning I was getting in the shower and I heard this still small voice say, you didn't invite me to paint the picture with you. And I thought, wow, I really didn't. You know, I, I, I had not invited him in. I had not asked what he thought. I hadn't prayed about it. As my good friend says, have you prayed about it, Diane? <laughs> I didn't. I was just using my own gifts to create. So he said, well, you need to invite me into the wedding story. So I thought, okay, Lord, so what am I supposed to do now? He said, go back and sit in front of the canvas and tell me what you see. So I pulled the canvas back out, sat down, and just looked at it. And I said, Lord, I see angels up in the corner. Wow. And he said, go paint them. So I painted them. Then, he, then I said, well, now what? And he said, well, who's it for? And I said, it's for a wedding couple. And he said, well, paint the wedding couple. So I painted the wedding couple. <laughs> And he just kept directing me the whole time. And, and he said, well, there's always with, you know, people that are at the wedding that you love and that love you. And it's the people who've been in your life. And so he said, paint the witnesses that are there, praying for the couple. And then my husband said it looked like, because I've had different people look at it. Then he said it looked like that blessings were falling from heaven. Wow. And the glory of God was present in the ceremony of the wedding feast. So anyway, it just kept moving and moving and moving. And um, so um, here's the angels up here. There's four. And it's an abstract. So you really have to look into it to see. Mm -hmm. And um, this up here is like the glory of God, the wedding couple and up through here is the cloud of witnesses and then the are the blessings, which my husband saw. I, I thought the cloud of witnesses, but then he saw the blessings being, you know, falling from heaven. 
And then somebody said it looked like a door here. And I said, well, that's like a door into their future. And then somebody else saw a harp here. And I said, well, that's the praise and worship to God. And then, then we had the three circles, which were Father, Son, and Holy Spirit over here. And the cross wow. in the middle. And then my granddaughter saw a dove that's right there that I hadn't seen either. So <laughs> then, wow. so after the Friday Freedom Circle, it was doing a new thing. Mm -hmm. And so that morning when I got up, Saturday morning, mm -hmm. the Lord said, you need to tell your story through the picture. And so I wrote a letter uh, to the couple explaining, because he said, your artwork will be, um, will show my glory through the story that's told. So, mm -hmm. you know, so that's how that. That's awesome. Was. And I heard you say that it was so much fun. And when, <laughs> and it felt like freedom, I heard you say. Yes, it was yeah. just so much freedom in knowing that I was creating, co-creating with him through every single bit of it. You yeah. know, even though it's an abstract, you know, everybody can see their own vision of what it is. Yeah. So that was kind of fun. Yeah. And so, yeah, I heard you say that this doing a new thing was kind of going back into and going back to co-creating with him, not striving to get something done, but co-creating and having that fun and let the Holy Spirit flow. And freedom. It was yeah. freedom. It Absolutely. was definitely a freedom in not worrying about pleasing, you know, painting something to please somebody, yeah. somebody else, you know, that it was something that we co-created together, you know, mm -hmm. and there was freedom in it and it was easy. And everything wow. just flowed real easy, you know. Wow. Wow. So it was a new thing for me. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it's so beautiful. And you're going to uh, share with us in a bit some of that story also that came out. But I, I feel like those of you who are watching this video, I even feel like you could pause and ask the Lord, um, what is it that you want to highlight to me through Diane's story? What is it that maybe I'm striving to do that, Lord, you actually want to co-create with me and enjoy the flow and the freedom. It might not be art. It might be something else. But what is it, Lord, that is an old thing that I'm trying to do on my own strength, perhaps, that you're inviting me to hand over to you? And what is it that you are inviting me to do and partner with? And the picture that I get is actually in Matthew 11. 28 to 31, where it talks about the easy yoke. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. And the yoke, right? There's like two, there's like an oxen, two oxen. And so if you think of it, it's like one, one of those, you know, neck things is us and the other one is Jesus. And we're doing it side by side together with him. And so I just feel like as you're hearing Diane's testimony in this, Lord, is there something that I'm trying to get ahead of you on or do without you that you're actually inviting me to do with you in the flow of the Holy Spirit. So something to think about. So, so Dan, yeah, tell us what happened then with the story. Well, so because it was a mess <laughs> and one of my, um, my heart's uh, scripture is Ephesians 2.10. We are God's masterpiece. So it was, you know, actually when I started writing the story, I just wanted to use scripture because everywhere on here, the scripture is what took me from place to place to place. So as I began um, to create this painting of love, I quickly fell short. My masterpiece soon became my mess. In my frustration, I heard a still small voice say, you forgot to invite me to the wedding story. He whispered, go back with me and look again and tell me what you see. This time we began together, co-creating the wedding story. 
As I look, I looked, I saw angels. He said, yes, I'm sending angels with special orders to protect them wherever they go, defending them from all harm. That's Psalms 9111. Then I saw the husband and wife being joined as one flesh, and after that, they would no longer exist as two, but one flesh. That's Mark 10, 8. Then I saw all of these great witnesses who encircled them like clouds, and then ascending towards heaven, I saw them offering up prayers as a sweet fragrance to the God. That's Hebrews 12, 1 and Revelation 8, 3. Then I saw the good and perfect gifts from above coming down from the Father of lights, James 1, 17. And then he whispered to me, and we continued, and as I continued painting, be joined together in perfect unity with one heart, one passion, and united in one love. Walk together with one harmonious purpose, and you will fill my heart with unbounded joy. That was for me. <laughs> Philippians 2.2. 2. Mm. And then I just wrote to the couple and said, may your wedding story be a masterpiece to God as you invite him into your story. Mm -hmm. Then the messes, when the messes of life come, look at the picture and remember to invite him in. Refocus, looking deeper with the creator. Let him fill your thoughts with his word, unwrapping it for you, imparting truth into your being. Let him show you the beauty in the mess, things you could never have known on your own. Then simply begin again together, one flesh with the creator, writing your own wedding story. So, yeah, the scripture just flowed. I just love that. I love when you are, I know that you're in the flow because working with you in Belize, all this picture that you gave down there had all this scripture interwoven. And I love it. And I mean, I received, my mom's an artist and she has artist friends. And one of her friends blessed me with one of her painting for my wedding 27 years ago and I still have it and I'm thinking to myself if I received this painting it is definitely a prophetic painting because you can look into it see the heart of God for you and your your or your spouse and wow it's like to me it's like a compass <laughs> you look in the direction of what God has prayed over and blessed over through your your art with him how beautiful is that i love it so it was so much easier than stressing over it like you know i normally do yeah so it wow. was definitely a new thing yeah wow <laughs> and i loved it and friday's uh class on friday's freedom circle it just landed you know, it was just like the airplane coming in and it was like, whoa, this is it. <laughs> oh, that's Co -create. so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for sharing, Dan. I just knew I had to hop on and I just felt like the Lord was saying, record this. This is going to inspire someone else who needs to hear this. So thanks so much for taking the time to share what, what the Lord did with you through the process. It's yeah, beautiful. and the other thing was Saturday morning after the freedom thing, yeah. the Lord said you need to go and get it scanned so right. you can give it away more. So I had cards made and I had um, just the paper yeah. wow. copies, Yeah, you know, so yeah, it was, I, I thought this is going to be fun. <laughs> yes, I can see a whole, you know. Uh, flow continued flow of different it's like pictures and blessings you know how we're the priesthood of believers and priests are called to bless and i just feel through your artwork the lord is going to have fun getting his heart to the recipients and i'm i'm just seeing the picture now of it all flooding and flowing together so it's beautiful well, it's, and this is gonna be fun to watch 
And you know what's really neat, I think, is without the story behind the painting, mm -hmm. it's just a picture in someone's house. Mm -hmm. But when people come into your home, you get to share Jesus with them through the communication of the art. It yeah. tells the story so that they can re-communicate it, you know. Amen. So yes. Jesus will be in the dining room, sitting at the table with them every single day. <laughs> yeah. And when the guests come over, like, what is that all about? Like, tell yeah. me about that painting. And they can share the story and be blessed. Not because it was a it was a good idea from you, but it came from heaven through you, with you, and God together. And it, you know, wow. And there's Thank something, so yeah, and there's something about when you do co-create, mm -hmm. it's almost like a testimony that nobody can take it away from you. No. You know, it's, it's, it happened and it's, you know, it's his story, not mine. <laughs> yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, Revelation 12, 10 and 11, I think it is that we enjoy to believe the enemy is brought down by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And this is it. This is one way of just telling the story of God at work in our lives through art. And it makes so much sense, him being the greatest artist ever. <laughs> wow. Thanks so much, Diane. It's so good to okay. hang out with you unexpected, unexpectedly today and enjoy your artwork with you. <laughs> Thanks. I enjoyed it. <laughs>